Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check two new products from Toolkit RC. The SC100, a USB Type-C to XT60 adapter, which is going to turn your quick charger into a power supply, and the M4 Pocket, a small and simple charger, which is capable of charging up to 4S batteries and can be powered using both XT60 and USB Type-C ports. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over their features and specs and show you how to use them. Let's start with the SC100. On one end of this 50 cm long cable, you can find a USB Type-C plug and on its other one, an XT60 male battery connector. It's not an ordinary adapter as it incorporates an onboard chip which is going to determine the output voltage. So it supports power delivery 2.0, 3.0 and quick charge 2.0 protocols. The supported input and output voltage is between 5 to 20 volts and the maximum input and output current is 5 amperes. The weight of the SC100 is 31.5 grams and it can be used along with a wall charger or a compatible power bank for powering the M4 packet or plenty of other small sized chargers. Moving on to the Toolkit RC M4 Pocket. This small charger will enable you to charge and store a charge both LiPo and LHV batteries. Its maximum output power is 80 watts. It supports charging up to 4S batteries. It features a 1.5 inch 240 by 240 pixels color LCD screen. It uses a single button for selecting the end voltage per cell and the output current. Its maximum output current is 5 amperes. It can be powered either using a USB Type-C port, which can be used with the SC100 and other USB Type-C cables. You can also use a power supply or power it directly from a battery. So over here you can find an XT60 battery connector. Its supported DC input voltage is between 7 to 25 volts. On its other end you can find both XT30 and XT60 battery connectors, which are used for charging the connected battery. On its right side, you can find a balance plug, on both sides, ventilation holes, and on its back side, a fan, which is only going to start working when needed. As for using the charger, it is extremely simple. After connecting a power supply, a battery, or a quick charger, the charger is going to power up. Then you'll need to unlock the charger by short pressing this button. And after that, you'll be able to select the output current by short pressing this button and selecting the end voltage per cell by long pressing it. The output current can be set to 1, 2, 3 or 5 amperes and the end voltage per cell can be set to 4.2, 4.35, 3.85 3.6 volts. After connecting the battery that we'd like to charge to both main and balance output ports, the charger is going to automatically start charging it. Over here you can see the total voltage of the battery that is being charged, the output current, the voltage per cell, the total milliampere that it was charged with, over here the internal temperature of the charger, the input voltage, and the time that passed since starting charging it. While charging the battery you'll still be able to adjust the output current and the end voltage per cell, and you should note that while it's possible to discharge your batteries using the M4 pocket, the discharging procedure is going to be extremely slow. In addition, as I mentioned before, the maximum output current is 5 amperes. On top of that, the maximum balance current is 0.4 amperes. It can be used in order to test your batteries as the M4 pocket is going to power up even when only the output ports are connected. When connecting the output ports, you can use the USB Type-C port in order to charge your mobile devices at a maximum output current of 1 ampere, and it weighs 73.1 grams. Now you should note that while the M4 Pocket is capable of charging 1S batteries, the charging procedure is only going to start if both main and balance ports are going to be connected simultaneously. For that, you'll need to prepare this type of do-it-yourself cable, which will have both main and balance plug connected in parallel. And as you can see, after using this adapter, we can use the M4 pocket in order to charge this 1S battery. As for calibrating the charger, it is done by holding this button while powering it up. 
then using this menu over here, you'll be able to calibrate the different options and in case you need to reset them to the default options. As for updating the firmware of the M4 packet, as far as I can tell, it's not possible as once connected to a computer, it's only going to power up unlike other chargers by Toolkit RC, which are going to be discovered as a flash drive. And in case there is another method for updating its firmware, I'll let you know in a pinned comment down below. So overall, in my opinion, the Toolkit RC M4 Pocket is a travel-friendly charger. It offers some nice options, such as having both XT30 and XT60 battery connectors, and of course, the ability to power it up using a USB Type-C connector. It's definitely an upgrade over the SDT PD60, which I've previously reviewed, and it should be stated that you don't have to use it along with the SC100 cable. Unfortunately, it didn't work with this specific fast charger by Beta FPV. However, it worked without any problem with two of my Mac fast chargers. Keep in mind though that the M4 packet has some limits. For example, you won't be able to set a minimum input voltage, which is important when powering it using a battery because you don't want to over discharge it and you won't be able to fully adjust the output current. What I would recommend to do in case you are not worried about spending the extra money is to go for the combination of the M7 multi-charger and the SC100 cable and then on top of being able to fully adjust the output current and also set a minimum input voltage, you'll also be able to charge up to 6S batteries, which can be useful for many users. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the Toolkit RC M4 Pocket and SC100 cable. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.